What's going on everybody? The Networking Guru here with Trepid Technologies. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to pass the Network Plus exam, why you need to get it, why is it important, who is CompTIA, and just what is this exam, and what is our training course? Can my training course, or Trepid Technologies, get us to pass the exam first time go? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna zoom my face out. I got this little PowerPoint here that goes over how to pass the Network Plus. And this is going to be uh, Network Plus N10-009, the brand new one that just came out in June 2024. So here's our objectives. We're going to go over who and what is CompTIA, who is CompTIA, why the Network Plus exam, why are you taking this, why should you study it, our training course, so how our training course can get you to pass the exam, and then who am I, who is Trevor Technologies, and then the meat and potatoes of this video, what I really want you, if you even want to skip to it, that's fine. How to pass the first time. How do you pass this the first time so you don't keep spending money on retests? Okay, so first, what is CompTIA? So CompTIA is one of the biggest IT and cybersecurity training companies. Um, they're vendor neutral, meaning that when you come to a CompTIA exam, they're more about teaching the fundamentals. Some of the exams may be more technology driven, like pen tests, CYSA. But this is just saying, we're gonna teach you about these fundamental IT, computer, networking, cybersecurity technologies, okay? It's one of the biggest. It's one of the biggest IT training vendors in the world. They were a nonprofit forever, except the, this recording, November 8th, 2024, a couple of days ago, they just got bought out by a private equity firm. But nonetheless, right, their, their mission statement still hasn't changed, is they're providing vendor neutral IT training and cybersecurity training. Their training ranges from the lowest level, which I think is like ITF, um, all the way up to CASP. So the basics of IT, help desk, computer hardware, through networking, cybersecurity, cloud technologies, all the way up to the CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner. And that's their highest level cert. That's a professional level cert. I'll leave a link in the description below of their certification track from beginner to expert, professional, intermediate, and all that. So... Why I care about CompTIA training? You're going to hear a lot of different opinions on this, okay? I don't like opinion-based stuff. We're just going to go over facts. CompTIA, the trifecta down here, A+, plus, Net+, plus, and Security+, plus, hit all the basics of IT. If you're starting out in your IT career, you don't just jump into, I'm a senior network engineer. I'm a senior cybersecurity analyst. I'm a senior DevOps and cloud engineer. It never works like that. We all start from the bottom when it comes to IT and, and our technology careers. I'm talking IT because we're not talking software development. IT starts at the very basic computers. It starts at the operating system. That's A+. It starts at that help desk job. And then as you progress in your career, you have a lot of different choices and what to actually start to get niche on and learn and become an expert in. There's networking, there's network automation, there's cybersecurity, and all the different branches of cybersecurity, offensive, defensive, blue team, red team, SOC, analyst. We have cloud technologies. And then from there, we have DevOps, we have senior platform engineers, cyber liability engineers, infrastructure engineers. There's so many different avenues of IT nowadays that a lot of times people uh, that want to excel in the technology career, they skip the basics. CompTIA is the basics. That's what they're known for. Yes, they have professional level certs that we teach as a company. Uh, and they're good. But this trifecta here is where you need to start. Uh, too many times I see a lot of people thinking they're going to jump straight into a six-figure cybersecurity career when they don't even know, they couldn't tell you what an access point does. You know, how are you going to uh, protect, defend these enterprise networks if you don't even know what a router does? or layer the OSI model, right? It just doesn't really make too much sense. This is why you need it. You need the basics. Too many times you're gonna see people go into interviews and they won't know the basics. I've been in senior network engineer interviews and the first question is, what is ping? What's the port number for DNS? Because they're just trying to get the basics out of the way before they get into MPLS traffic engineering, right? So no matter at what stage you are, if you're here to take the Network Plus exam, this is to get career progression is to get the fundamentals of networking to get you a good starting point, a good base. Now back to CompTIA. It's a diverse, CompTIA has a diverse training partner program. So you're going to see a lot of trainers out there selling you courses on YouTube. We're not going to talk crap about any of them. They all have their place, but there is a diverse 
CompTIA training ecosystem with a lot of great trainers out there. One of the big ones for my uh, customers, my students, I started out training mostly military, is compliance. CompTIA is still one of the biggest CERT providers in DOD compliance. Meaning if you want to work for the federal U.S. government, and certain roles, cybersecurity analysts, network engineer, are going to have a CERT requirement so that you can take that job, and CompTIA is all over there, okay? I have another video series going all over 8140 compliance, but CompTIA, as far as if you're in the U.S. working in the government, most of the time you're looking at Security Plus and above or Network Plus and above to land that government role, okay, as just a prerequisite. So that's CompTIA. It's available in many languages, and there's testing available worldwide through uh, Pearson View, which is not CompTIA. They're different, right? You go to Pearson View to take Cisco, Microsoft, CompTIA, AWS exams. They're the... You know, they're the test centers that deliver these exams. Okay, so again, why the Network Plus? Kind of just skipped ahead there, but it gives you that foundational knowledge. It's recognized by many companies and universities, meaning that this is a good thing to put on the resume. Not only does it teach you, but then it also can count as college credit for a lot of universities out there. When you get your Net Plus, maybe you don't have to take uh, an IT degree or a computer science degree, a networking class, right? Maybe you're at the help desk. Maybe you got your A+, plus, you've been working help desk six months to a year, you see what the network team is doing and you want to be that layer two junior network admin that you've been escalating tickets to. Maybe a, a role opens up in the company that's in the networking shop or in the NOC, the networking team. It's career progression. You get net plus, so you show to the company you're currently working at or the company you're applying for that you care, that you want to learn, that you can focus, you can study on networking technologies and pass an exam. Sometimes personal learning. Maybe you're just tired of calling Spectrum all the time. Maybe you want to just see why your Wi-Fi is not working. Network Plus. Now, the Network Plus exam has five domains. We can see it here. Domains one through five. The core networking concepts, right? The actual exam is on score, scored on a scale of 1 to 900, okay? And the passing is 720. There's going to be multiple choice questions and also simulations. So we call these performance-based questions. I haven't taken the Network Plus exam in a... I took the new one like six months ago. Again, you can't talk about the exam. But yes, there's simulations, right? Um, 90 minutes max with potential of 90 questions. This information is on CompTIA's website too. They break down what... You know, they break all this down for you. I took this straight from the CompTIA site, right? What the passing scale is. 90 minutes max on the time with potential of 90 questions on the actual exam. So that's why the Network Plus, Okay. It gives you that foundation, can give you career progression, and it's recognized by many companies and universities. So now let's talk about our training. Why I think Trevor Technologies will get you to pass the first time. Well, first off, I want to address that there's no catch to our free and full YouTube course. We created a full and free course that hits every single exam objective in the Network Plus N10-009 exam, free on our YouTube channel. And every single video has five to a five to eight question quiz at the end with explanation that we go over in every single video. So I do believe that if someone were to watch our videos, look at those quizzes, they could potentially pass the first time. And there's no catch. That's it. Now, this is an exam. A lot of people have test anxiety. The best way to pass this exam is through rep repetition and answering the questions. We're going to get to that. Wow, I think you can pass this first time. But if you're looking for something more than just videos, you want an ecosystem, you want a learning management system that makes you feel like you're in a college course, that you have somewhere, to, a, a, a group to talk to, you have practice exams, quizzes, flashcards, and more, a more immersive course, we have our own custom learning management system. We have our academy.trepotech.com that you can pay for in our full and free self-paced course. It's only $69 and you're supporting the company and you're supporting us to keep making these videos and to keep these videos up to date. So I'm going to just quickly go over our academy with you. So if you want to purchase this, you get all the lessons and bonus lessons, right? So here's what I, we'll just say you're on, let's see here. Here's what our lessons look like. You can download all of our PowerPoints from here. We have a Google Drive that you'll get access to. We have the domain quizzes that we go over. And then we have practice exams as well. So as of this recording, they're not like, uh, they're not populated because I just haven't enabled them yet because this is day one, right, of us launching the full course. 
available for purchase. We have full exams. So we're going to have over 400 questions, practice exams that you can retake. We give you lifetime access as well. You can keep retaking quizzes and exams as much as you need to pass the exam. We also give you access to our Discord. We're going to get access to a Google Drive with all the PowerPoints you can download and other bonus content. We're going to have bonus videos on here that do more lab-based things, right? That are take away the fluff of me trying to get the YouTube algorithm. It just gets straight into the training. Like, hey, let's configure this. Let's configure this. Let's go over this. We also have flashcards coming January 1st for our course. So you get that full immersive experience, access to our Discord. You can reach out to our team, access to our Google Drive when you have downloaded material over our PowerPoints. You also have the option to buy the ebook from us. As a partner, we get discounts. You have options to buy the CompTIA Cert Master Labs from us at a discount as well. Because we're a CompTIA authorized partner, we get discounts for that. So we also have a mobile app that you get access to. It's not on the App Store yet. We're waiting to fully launch, but that mobile app has all the exams and quizzes so you can study from your phone. So I think as a training company, we're one of the most immersive out there. There's great training companies out there. Some are really good at teaching you technologies like CBT Nuggets, i &E. They're great. But I think for CompTIA certs, we probably have the most material for you at a good price. Now enough of the sales pitch. Let's get back to this slide. And then, of course, this is for the current N10-009 Network Plus exam. Okay, now a little bit about myself. So, I have 10 years of experience in networking. I was a network admin, engineer, did network automation, and also some network security, you know, working in the firewalls, uh, applying ACLs, being part of the, the discussion when securing our environments. I was in the Army for nine years. I don't have any pictures of me in the NOCs I used to work at because... It was behind secure doors. Um, no photos were allowed. <laughs> but, yeah, so I was in the Army nine years in special operations. There's a picture of me after a pretty good landing. Uh, I used to jump out of planes. It was not very fun, in my opinion. Um, and then I started Trepid Technologies doing in-person and live virtual training. So these are some of the courses that I've taught or my instructors have taught in person. So we delivered five to ten day boot camps for this training, for this free video course that you're going to get access to. Now for a year or two in my career in the military, I was an actual instructor. So I was a CCNA instructor and a Security Plus instructor. I did that for a year or two for special operations. And that's where I became like an, an enthusiastic instructor. And what I mean by that is I fell in love with it. I fell in love with actually teaching uh, soldiers, showing them how to excel in their careers in the tech field, right? Not in their military career, in the tech field, in the networking field, in the cloud field, in the IT field. And now I'm trying to bring that to everyone else, to the public, putting this on YouTube. So that's a little bit about myself. But yes, I come from a networking background, uh, working in global uh, network operation centers, doing network engineering architecture, okay? Most, mainly Cisco. All right, so now this is what I call the meat and potatoes. Why? This is what I believe you need to do to pass the first time. This is... For Johnny Bandon, what I feel, if students follow this routine, they will pass. I think if, if you're really cramming, you can pass the Network Plus in two weeks with some experience. If you have some experience, maybe you work help desk, you've been working IT in some level, you can probably pass in two weeks if you really cram. Now, for somebody coming in off the street, no experience, one month to two months if you're going hard, right? Now, I know life gets busy. So I say going hard, taking four to six hours a day is going hard, in my opinion, right? Which is a lot of time, especially if you have families, kids, whatever the case may be. But I think at the low end, if you're cramming, you can get this done in a month. And here's my recipe for success. First, the video lessons. Watch videos on Network Plus. Of course, I'm going to recommend us, but there's other video content out there. The only other one that I know that has a fully in-depth course for free is Professor Messer. Uh, but we're coming for him. Not really. He's a great instructor. There's room for everyone in this field. Um, but watch videos. Watch videos on all this Network Plus exam. Supplement our reading. Get the PDF. Get the official PDF. There's other good uh, like ones not straight from CompTIA. Like, uh, I forget what it's called. But on Amazon, if you look up Network Plus, there's other good study guides. Watch the videos. Supplement it with reading, right? Okay, I understand what that instructor was saying. Let me read about it. Now I can really understand it. And as you're doing the video lessons and official reading, 
talk to your friends about it. I know it sounds cheesy, but if you learned about the OSI model, and then a week later you get a question about the OSI model when you're doing practice exams, you may have forgot. The best way to have that memory is to teach someone else. So as you're going through videos, as you're reading, talk to your friends, say, hey, I just learned about this technology. Can I tell you about it for five minutes? They may think, oh, what a nerd, whatever, but it, that's a great way. Speak aloud what you're learning. That helps you retain. Once you're done getting the fundamentals, the video lessons, the reading, doing some self-paced labs, maybe you start packet trace, whatever the case may be, next you do practice questions. Now, this is not test dumps. That is not what you should do to pass this. We know it's out there. It's not a mystery. There's test dumps online. Do not use them. One, it's against the code of contact in CompTIA, and it doesn't do you any service memorizing questions. What you need to do is find a reputable source, Trevor Technologies, and do their practice exams. CompTIA offers practice exams too, like Cert Master uh, practice questions. Do practice questions and do them over and over and over again until you get 90 to 100%. And when you're reading the question, don't just try to memorize. Understand what it's asking and work through those questions. Okay? There's a uh, Bozen. I know like Dion Training has practice exam questions. We have practice exam questions. The actual CompTIA practice exam questions. That's the best way. This is done probably five to 10 days before you sit down to test, okay? Video lessons reading. I want to test in a week or two, start doing the practice exams. And if you have come across a question you don't understand, go back to the video lessons. Be like, oh, they talked about this. Read about that question, why you maybe got it wrong. CompTIA, they have labs. So they have labs that you can practice that won't be the exact ones on the exam, but are very similar because those are going to count. People always ask me, are they weighted? Are the simulations weighted on the actual exam? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't think CompTIA, I don't think they've ever put that out. I just know that they're there, right? <laughs> so practice those, okay? Practice the simulations and you can buy them from CompTIA. Now, once you've done all this and you got a good warm and fuzzy, now it's time to schedule your exam. So you can schedule an exam through Pearson View. So you have to go to Pearson View, make a CompTIA Pearson View account, and then schedule your exam. There's two ways to test with Pearson View. You can do it in person or online. I prefer in person. It's a nice like, close off environment with a the proctor there watching you. Very good, right? Um, and there's less distractions. If I try to take the test online at home, I got kids, dogs running around. I, it's just, it's too much, right? You can pay via a credit card. Like if you go through, when you go to schedule your exam through Pearson View, it'll say, okay, pay for the cert. It's $369. You could also get a voucher from the CompTIA store. It's the same price. There's really no difference. I mean, when you buy a voucher, you get a code that's valid for a year. Or when you go to schedule your exam through Pearson View, just type in your credit card information. It's 369 right? So either way. But you schedule your exam through Pearson View. All right. So that is going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, like, subscribe. And this is going to be our intro for our Network Plus Full and Free course. So I'll see you in our training lessons.